congregation of the Franciscan Sisters of St. Anne carry out various apostolates as their way of service and evangelization in the society. The religious nuns are involved in health ministry where they administer to the sick to provide preventive, curative, and rehabilitative health care services. Within the health facilities, the sisters have a program to train and empower community health volunteers to be responsible in assessing health-related issues within the community and mobilize the people to visit these facilities for health care services. The Franciscan Sisters of St. Anne also train students in cookery and other related skills. The hospitality industry equips students to be self-reliant and venture into business after school. In the education sector, several activities take place. Training of scouts like we can see from Luak Girls Boarding Primary School. At, at ease! Attention! At ease! At ease! As we are, madam! At ease! As our is a scout, madam! Attention! Quick mark time! Halt! Salute! Our national anthem, verse 1 in English. Pupils are engaged in music, an activity which sharpens their talents, helps them to be focused, and develops their mind so they can concentrate well.
the Franciscan Sisters of St. Anne who have passion for the marginalized, engage with children who are impaired in different faculties. They teach in St. Oda School for the visually impaired, where there are learners who are totally blind, the low vision learners, and those with albinism. At St. Mary's School for Learners with Hearing Impairment, the aim of the sisters is to give the deaf children basic education to prepare them for future education and vocational training. Teaching these children also helps them to participate in the society and not to feel isolated, but to earn their own living in the future. The Franciscan Sisters of St. Anne has not left behind the physically challenged. At Nyabondo Rehabilitation Center, there are the physically handicapped children. The school carries out physiotherapy activities and provides rehabilitation and habilitation services. It also has vocational training where learners are taught skills such as knitting, hairdressing, basketry, and sewing. At St. Martin de Porres, a special school for learners with cerebral palsy, the physically challenged children are empowered to acquire skills to enable them to be independent in life. Besides music, children are taught the art of poetry, where they put emotions into words. Poetry also improves their critical way of thinking. The sisters are also involved in farming for their livelihood and for food security. The Franciscan sisters of St. Anne follow the spirituality of St. Francis of Assisi, a man who in his simplicity and poverty was an environmentalist. They plant trees which is of great help, especially in the current world when there is global warming. They also take care of the environment, ensuring its cleanliness.